Namaste. Welcome to Feel Good Full Body Yoga Flow. Today's practice is a wonderful class to do at any time of your day, and it's designed for all levels. We'll be working on shoulder mobility, hip mobility, as well as overall flexibility. Physical flexibility comes with your mental flexibility. So choose wisely what you could do as I'm giving you many variations throughout today's class. One block will come in in handy. I'm going to be using one. If you don't have a yoga block, you can grab a thick, sturdy book as your prop. All right, so let's begin our practice starting sitting up tall. Easy cross leg position, Sukhasana. You can right away using your block to sit up a little bit taller. Feels better on my lower back. So notice which way feels good for you to sitting up tall. Place your palms down to your legs and begin with gentle shoulder roll. Close your eyes if that helps you to stay inward. If your eyes are open, gazing softly at the tip of your nose and begin to pay attention to the sensations around your shoulders and pay attention to the senses right now in your space. As you dropping your shoulders away from the ears, together closing your eyes. Breathe in through your nose. Open mouth, cleansing breath out. Just have a few moments to stay in this present moment by tapping into your senses. You may hear what you hear in your space. You may feel the temperature on your skin. Perhaps you can start to feel the air temperature going in through your nose. and air going out through your nose. Pray your hands at your heart center. Close your eyes again, chin down. Let's opening up our practice with one chant of OM together. Inhale. Blink your eyes open, then circling your arms down and up toward to the sky. Gazing toward your thumbs, pressing your palms and straight down to your forehead, lips and down to your heart center. Once more, inhale, circle the arms up. Out through your nose, bring your prayer hands down back to your heart. Interlacing your fingers in front of your chest and push your palms forward and up toward to the sky. Sit bones pressing, spine lengthening. Reaching your palms up with shoulders relaxing. Big full breath in. Now big sigh, open mouth. Arms down by your side. Pressing your fingertips down toward to the ground and let's taking gentle neck roll. Change the direction. Very nice. If you're using your block underneath your sit bones, move it aside for a moment and make your way to table to position. Hands and knees pressing your palms and your feet. And let's begin with rocking slightly forward. Big toes together, touch. Send your hips back. Don't need to go too far into your hip flexion yet. Just right amount for your hip flexibility. Feeling good, rocking forward and back. Three, two, 
and one. This time as you're rocking forward, let's circling to the right, left, and send your hips a little further back. Two more. One last round. Change the direction, few more rounds. Whenever your shoulder is passing your wrist, gripping at your fingertips. And as you're settling your hips to your heels, extending arms a little more forward, deep into child pose, Balasana. Now relax your knuckles, wrists, elbows and shoulders. Relaxing your forehead down, chest melting, spine relaxing. If your head is hovering up in the space, you can grab your block and place it underneath your forehead. If your forehead is okay to touch the mat right away, just deeper into your relaxation. Head and neck relax and rocking side to side. Softening in between your eyebrows, eyes, cheeks, and your tongue. On your next inhalation, pressing your palms and making your way slowly forward to table using cat spine. Keep your knee to knee a little bit close together. Exhalation, sending your hips slowly back using cow spine. Coming forward, cat to table. Exhale, cow to child pose. Slowly move with your breath. Inhale, four. Exhale, back. Come forward, back to table. And let's tuck your toes under. Make your way to downward facing dog. Right knee deeply bent and left leg a little bit straighter. Deeping your right shoulder blade down. Left knee deeply bent and right leg straighter. Left shoulder deeply down. And now let's walk it out one leg at a time, one breath at a time. Beautiful. Find stillness in your downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Shivanasana. Breathe in. Be cleansing breath out through your mouth. Let's gazing forward, bend your knees. Step, step or many steps forward. Halfway flip back. Palms to your thighs, shins, or down toward to the mat. Exhalation, Uttanasana, fold forward. Pressing into your feet, spread out your toes. Slowly come up to stand, circling your arms up high over your head. Slide back bend as you're gazing up. Exhale, squeezing your shoulder blades, Ketas arms. Inhale, reaching the arms up. Exhale, swan dive. Halfway, inhale to flat back. Heel to open your feet about mat distance apart for twist. Right knee bend, left knee straight. You can move your block toward to the middle to place your right palm down or fingertips down to the mat. Open up to the left side, left hand reaching up high. As you keep on lengthening your spine and twist, breathe in. Exhalation, left hand circling over your head down. Once more, inhale, circle goes up high. Exhale, over your head and down. Reverse twice.
as you lower your left hand down, both knees deeply bent, melting over your legs. Roll up to stand one vertebra at a time, arms out to T-shape and stand up tall. Exhalation, right hand down, left hand reaching over to the side. Inhale, coming back to the center, belly in. Exhale, left hand down, right hand reach it over to the side. Beautiful. Inhale, coming back to the center. Exhale, bring your palms behind your back. You can hold on to your opposite arms to opening up your chest. If you have more space, interlacing your fingers nice and tight and squeezing in between your shoulder blades. If you have more space, adding gentle back bend, gazing up, thighs lifting, kneecaps lifting, engaging yourself. Stay one more breath. Come up gently, one photo at a time, releasing your hands together, up over your head, gazing up. Exhale, swan dive. Halfway back to flat back, your flat back. Left knee bend, left hand to the middle, right knee straight. Let's opening up to the right side. Shoulders pull back. Make sure your palm is facing to the side way. Gazing up at your thumb, breathe in. Exhalation, let's circling over your head. Once more, inhale. Exhale, reverse twice. As you lower your right hand down, let's turn your toes out, heels in, and we lower deeply down into yogi squat. Now the block comes in really handy. You can place it down underneath your sit bones to sit and using your hands to push your inner thighs out. Belly, chest gazing forward, feeling your inner thighs and hips opening. If you have space to go further down, you may move your block aside, lower all the way down, pray your hands at your heart. Stay to breath, Malasana. Beautiful. Move your block aside if it's underneath your sit bones. Plant the palms, big step back into downward facing dog. Well done. Walk it out with your own pace again. Resetting your breathing. Reset your mind. Lower your knees down to table to position. In your table, let's tuck your toes and walking both hands toward to the right side. Inhalation to cow toward to the right side. Exhalation, rounding your spine. Turn your chin, chin, your chin toward to your right shoulder. Very good. Inhale once more to cow. Exhalation to cat and look over toward to your right shoulder. Feel your spine opening from the side. Walking back to the center. Inhale, neutral spine. Exhale, walk toward to the left side. Ready for inhale to cow toward to the left. Exhale to round. Now turn your chin all the way toward to the left shoulder. Very good. Inhale once more, cow. Exhalation to cat. Great job. Walking back to the center. Drop the feet and just resting for a moment in child pose and bring your arms down by your side this time. Deeping your shoulder blades and shoulders fully. Your palms are facing up. Make strong fist. Open up. Strong fist and open. Few more rounds. Now we come up to sit it on your knees, Vajrasana. If sitting on your knees is not comfortable on your knees and hips, you can bring your block underneath your sit bones. 
to elevate it, elevating your hips a little bit higher than your knees. You can go this direction, any direction that makes you feel comfortable. Just notice which way feels good for you. Once you settle into your Vajrasana, roll your shoulders, circling your arms out to T-shape and over your head. And bend your right elbow deeply, holding onto your right elbow, and gently push your arm back. Three, two, one. Extending arms up over your head, gazing up. Exhale to the other side. Bend your left elbow deeply, using your right hand to push your arm back. Very good. Extending both arms up over your head, look up. Exhale, rotating your wrists all the way down back into table to position. In your table, pressing your feet, and let's gently tap your tops of your feet. Three, two, and one. Very good. Keep your knee to knee touch together and lower your right forearm down. Watch your lower back is not deeply arching. Lower belly drawn in, tailbone slightly tucked down. Left elbow slightly bending to the outer side with shoulders relaxed and left leg extending straight back. Now lifting up as high as you could until you can really feel your left hip flexor stretch. And let's bend your knee, opening up your inner thigh to the outer side and hold. Not really a graceful way to hold the pose, but it's so good for your inner thighs and your hip health. Hold for a moment. Two, one. Now, now pull your knee really close towards your left arm. Touch. Bottom knee touch. Extending straight up so you can feel your hip flexor again. Opening up to the side. Forward touch. Down touch. And now make it really flowy. Two. One. Very good. And let's reverse the circles. One last round. Biggest circle. Extending your left leg straight back. And from here, you may turn your right foot slightly towards the left side. So you can bring your left knee to right behind your right leg. So again, make sense? Now from here, right leg inward and your left knee right behind your right leg. Pressing up to your both palms and as you're making space into your hips, sending your hips back, more back, further back, all the way into Komukasana. Place your hands on top of your right leg. Roll your shoulders, close your eyes. Again, if that's, this doesn't feel just too uncomfortable, you can use your block to sit up taller. So make it accessible for you. Notice what feels good. Relaxing into your glutes and hips. Shoulders relaxed. Now from here, we're adding the arm stretch that what we did earlier. Arms out to T-shape and over your head, bending your right elbow deeply and using your left hand to push it straight back. Watch your neck is not dropping forward, using your back of your neck strength to push your arms back and gazing straight ahead. Now if that feels pretty good with your shoulder mobility, you can extend the left hand behind to 90 degree angle to stop. If you have more space, wiggling your hand up, bottom hand down to maybe hook your fingers. Stay from now, two more breaths. Relax your face, relax your jaw, soften through your lips. Well done. Now we together releasing your arms out to T-shape first 
and lower your right hand down to the side, left hand reach it over your head. Both shoulders relaxed, gazing up toward the sky. And slowly bring it back to the center. Let's lean back so you can undo your legs straight forward and shake your legs. Great job. Pull your knees up, pressing your feet down as you're pushing into your palms, belly, chest, gazing forward. And let's twisting the legs side to side. Three. Two. And one. Make your way to table to position. Either you can crossing your legs and shifting forward to table. If that doesn't feel comfortable for your hips, legs straight forward and swing the legs back. So we're making our way back into table. Very good. Now let's move on to the other side. Left forearm down, knee to knee touch, belly in, so protecting your lower back, extending right leg back. We're here, engage your core, shoulders relax, lifting up the right leg up a little higher. Say hello to your right hip. And now bend the knee, opening up to the side and hold. Ready to pull it really close towards your right arm, down to the bottom knee, and lifting back up and circle. Very nice. Continue with your own pace. Beautiful. Reverse. Make sure your left foot also engaging, pressing down to the mat as well as your shin. One last round. Let us extending your right leg straight back and come on to your palms. Ready? Bring your left foot slightly toward to the right side. So you can again make your right knee to meet your knee, your left from the left knee behind. Okay, again, let's do it. Again, left foot to the side, right knee behind your left knee. Okay, now as you're sending your hips back, walking your hands all the way up into seated, Gomukhasana. Relaxing your hips, pressing slightly toward your leg, knee to knee, little bit close together. Use your prop again to sit up tall. Make your practice a little more effortless. Life is already tough. So make your yoga practice worry-free ah, and make it more enjoyable for yourself. Now from here, let's add in the arms. Arms out to T-shape. Left hand goes up. Bend your elbow deeply and push your arm back. Chest forward, gazing forward. You don't need to go too far to gain benefits. So just notice where your body is at today. Respect your limit today. And from there, embrace. Breathe and enjoy this moment. Now we stay, breathe. Beautiful. And undo your arms out together, T-shape. Exhale, left hand down, right hand reach it over to the side. Shoulders soften, sit bones keep pressing. Look underneath your right arm up toward to the sky. Very nice, come up. Let's lean back, opening up the legs and shake your legs.
Great job. Scoop a little bit forward toward the front of your mat, wrapping up with beautiful rock and roll. So holding on to the back of your knees, rounding your spine to begin. Shoulders back, hug your elbows back. On your next inhalation, one vertebrae at a time, roll your spine back. Exhalation, roll your spine back up. Adding five, four, three, two, and one. Dropping your spine and legs straight down, arms up over your head. Exhale, pull your right knee, close your chest, hold on to your shin. Wind release, pose. Take advantage of home yoga practice. Feel free to release whatever is not serving you from your belly right now. Let it release. Right and down to T-shape, big full breath in. Exhale to spinal twist. So this spinal twist can be also very um, helpful if you have a yoga block. So you can make it to your own level. Tuck it right underneath your right leg. Just right amount twist for your spinal flexibility. Relaxing your right shoulder blade. You can flatten the block a little bit more once your spine opens up a little bit. Maybe turn your chin all the way towards your right shoulder. If you have space, maybe your knee touching the ground. Now you may untwist from the upper back, mid back, lower back, hips back to the center, right leg straight down, arms up, ankles together, stick pose. And let's pull your left knee, close your chest, hold on to your shin, wind release pose. Breathe in. Adding spinal twist, so if you need a block, place it underneath your right side, toward the right side, so your leg can just resting fully, not hovering in the space, and look over toward your left shoulder. Very nice, when you untwist, come up from the upper back, mid back, lower back, sacrum touch, legs straight down. Arms up, legs together, nice and long. Let's take a mini sabasana, opening up your legs about mid distance, and lower your arms down by your side. Finding this beautiful relaxation pose, with eyes fully closed, in through your nose. Be cleansing breath out. Allow your body to do nothing. Allow yourself to relax fully. Enjoy your savasana.
breathe in deeply. Easy, empty out through your mouth. Fingers and toes start wiggling, awakening. Eyes, cheeks, lips, tongue start moving. Sticking your tongue out as long as you could. Feel your throat. And relax your face. Arms of legs together. Feel good, long line stretch. Pull your knees, close your chest, lifting up to your head and neck up, giving yourself a beautiful loving hug. Lower your head and neck, feet down. Roll onto any direction, body is falling toward to. Pause for a moment in a fetal position. And let's slowly come up to any comfortable seated pose. Let's get your spine relaxed and tall. Arms down by your side or on top of your legs. Close your eyes. Have a moment to sinking into the moment of relaxation, physically, mentally, and energetically. Perhaps feeling a little happier perhaps feeling a little more peaceful, relaxed, and flexible. Prayer hands at your heart center, thanking to yourself for showing up on your mat, for your body, mind, and spirit. Let us finish our practice with one chant of OM together, in through your nose. Thank you so much for your practice and your beautiful energy. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste.